You're not alone in feeling buried with debt, zero financial knowledge, and stuck with a low paying job. Have comfort in the fact that, well, that's most people, and that's how everybody starts. This, my friends, is the financial rut that most people find themselves in, all walks of life, all income levels. That's right, even rich people sometimes get this problem. Well, let me put your anxiety at ease because this is one of the most impactful finance videos that you will ever watch, and I can guarantee that. And hopefully this will completely turn around your financial life. And if it does, you owe me that like and subscribe. Today, we're gonna talk about how to increase your savings, boost income with very little effort, as well as books alone that will change your life. And not only we're gonna learn about all that stuff, these tactics are going to put you on a straight and efficient path to building wealth and financial freedom that you never ever thought was before possible. But I am here to tell you that it's possible because I have done it. So here's how to pull yourself out of a financial rut. Make me deal. If you get any value or information out of today's video, hit that like and subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And step number one of getting yourself out of a financial rut is to participate in today's sponsor. Now you might be asking yourself, well, I don't want to spend money. That's the opposite of what I want to do. Well, you're not going to spend a dime. Webull has partnered with my channel to pay you guys to sign up for their free service. Webull is one of the biggest online stock brokerages on the entire planet right now. The only service that I use, I've been using them for over four years and they are going to give you a sign up bonus to use their free website. Why are they doing this? I don't know, but so many people have gotten so much money off of this. I couldn't think of a better sponsor to bring to today's video. So they're going to give you five free stocks valued all the way up to $9,000 plus another $5 worth of free crypto. If that's not the best sign up bonus on the planet for a free platform, I don't know what is. Webull is zero commission trading has zero subscriptions, and the app is free. It's free, 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 no catch. All you gotta do is click the link in my description, sign up for an account, get your account approved, of course, and deposit as little as just one cent. Once your account is funded, they're gonna give you all of your free stocks and you can cash them back out into your bank account. So let me ask you a question. Do you like money? Because I like money. So download Weeble, sign up, and get that free cash. But the first real step in digging yourself out of a financial rut is liquidate. Sell, sell, sell. Walk around your house and find three things that are collecting dust you don't need. Game consoles you don't use. Game consoles you do use. But you're willing to forfeit them to better your financial situation and reap the rewards from the fruits of your labor down the road. Sell that game console. Sell that love seat you don't use. Sell that side table that's taking up too much space. Sell that lamp. Sell that cookbook your grandma got you. Sell the watch. Seriously walk around and find three things of any value that you don't need. I guarantee you once you do a thorough look, you're going to find lots of stuff that is worth 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 bucks that you didn't know that you really even had before. Sell it. You're not going to miss it. Now, once you've done that, you've got a little bit of money to start. Well, do it again. Walk around your house one more time and get serious this time. That Apple watch, don't need it. Sell it. Go buy one that tells the same amount of time for 10 bucks at Target. Sell those AirPods. You get 150 bucks out of them. You can get $30 alternatives that are even better on Amazon. You have a $20,000 car, sell it. Buy a $15,000 car and pocket that five grand of difference. You have the latest iPhone, sell it. Buy one that's two years older, pocket the difference. Sell, 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 and get serious about liquidating all of your crap that you don't need that might be worth some money. And don't worry, you're gonna get all of this back eventually down the road. So postpone and forfeit these things that don't really mean anything thing for a better financial future. Trust me. Number two is to slash the fat. Trim the dead leaves off of your plant. Go into your bank account and look, oh man, I'm spending a lot on uh, the Google Drive storage. I'm spending a lot on Dropbox. I'm spending a lot on Hulu that I haven't watched in three months. I'm spending a lot on Apple Music or Spotify when I can just listen to music for free on YouTube. You would be surprised how many secret little subscriptions add up in your budget. You need to get rid of those and look for free alternatives because everything 
as a free alternative. Just use SoundCloud. Why do you need Spotify Premium? Now, you really need to create a budget. Keep track of every single dollar coming in and every single dollar going out. Once you actually see how much you're spending on Amazon gadgets, Walmart, or most importantly, fast food and eating out, you're going to realize, whoa, I didn't realize that these little purchases added up so much, especially every single month and even more so at the end of every single year. Create a budget. I'll make a whole different video on how to create a budget, but basically, if you make three grand a month, account for every single penny. You've got $1,000 for rent or mortgage. You've got $500 for food. You've got $500 for transportation, $300 for extras, and $200 for fun money. So you can keep track of how far along you are in any given month. So if it's week two and you're like, hey, I'm still behind on my budget, I can afford to go out to eat tonight. Or it's, hey, I've actually overspent. This is where I'm going to stop. Simply writing down how much you spend in each category and keeping track of it on a budget is life changing. I did that years ago and my spending dropped drastically. Trust me. This is a big, big move. Number three is you got to kill bad debt. Now, not all debt is bad debt. Real estate debt's not bad, so your mortgage isn't bad. And, you know, Dave Ramsey's going to be shaking in his boots when he hears me say this, but not all auto loans are bad. If you've got to have these in interest rate and you use your car to go to work or a side hustle, run your business or Uber or Postmates, whatever it might be, eh, don't worry about it too much. Try to pay it off. Don't upgrade early. Don't roll over loans. Don't go upside down on your loan. But, you know, as long as you got a decent rate and you actually use your car to make money, it's all right. Instead of paying 10 10 grand off on a car early, you can use that money much better for other ways. Gotta keep in mind of opportunity costs. Anyway, get rid of high interest accounts immediately. And I'm talking about credit cards, store credit cards, maybe bad auto loans, whatever it might be, get rid of it. If you're gonna be making payments on something, it better make you money. Don't finance anything that doesn't make you money. Your car makes you money because it takes your ass to work. Your house is an exception. But those new pair of shoes don't make you money, don't finance it. And don't do that stupid pay now, buy later. I've got a whole video on that junk. Stay away from it. By simply slashing all of the fun money in your budget and getting rid of your debt, not only you're gonna lower your monthly payments, which means you're gonna have more cash to deal with at the end of every month, you're also not throwing away tons of money into the black hole, the black abyss of interest rates on credit cards. My credit card has an 18% interest rate. That means on every $1,000 I have on my credit card balance, 180 of that, those payments are just going straight to the black hole, the abyss of interest. Get rid of those ASAP. Not only is it going to get rid, you're not going to waste money, it's going to lower your monthly payment obligation. But do not lose your credit card account. Put 10 bucks on it and pay it back within a couple days. You want to still use it to build your credit. Use it for rewards if you're smart about it. I've got a whole series on credit cards on this channel if you wanna check those out, but do not close your account. Keep your credit card. Just get rid of the balance. If you spend 500 bucks on a credit card and pay it back within the 30-day grace period, you're not gonna pay interest on it, and you'll get some rewards if you get a good card. But first things first, get rid of the balance. Use it as the wealth-building tool that it is, not a way to postpone paying for something you can't afford or need. Number four is a massive step in digging yourself out of a financial rut, and that is getting educated. Find your way out, man. You got to figure out what you're going to do to make more money, whether that's mastering your job. Are you going to get a raise? Are you going to start a side hustle? Are you going to really focus on investing in real estate and quitting your job? You gonna Are you going to focus on an online business, an offline business? Find your way out. Get educated. Learn about what you really want to do in life and learn about personal finances. I've got an entire video talking about the psychology of money, which might be the best personal finance video on YouTube. YouTube. Uh, if you'd like to check that out, it's like a 45 minute piece. I highly recommend it. But basically, read books, watch YouTube videos, listen to podcasts, delete TikTok. That is sewage. That's that's literally garbage water going into your brain. Stop watching pranks on YouTube. Stop listening to little baby mumble rap about Robitussin and AR-15s. Who, who cares about that? Replace that with podcasts about things that you want to learn about. Read books. Watch YouTube videos like my channel or Graham Stephan. Hey, you know, Dave Ramsey's good too. Point being is replace your daily garbage intake with things that are highly valuable. You would be shocked 
at how replacing TikTok with a book will completely change your life. This alone is just one of the best tips I could give anybody. And in fact, uh, let me go to my library and I will pull out some books that I really think you should get started. And I'm going to show you how to get them for dirt cheap. Books on Amazon, 10, 15 bucks. No, I don't pay more than three or $4 for a book and I'll show you how. So I seriously read for at least an hour or two every single day. And I know what that sounds like. You know, I hate reading, dude. I hated reading. I could, I could not read a book to save my life. I couldn't comprehend it. I couldn't get my brain in focus, but you'd be surprised how much you latch on to reading once it's about something that you're interested in and literally reading books like this, your life changes. You just go up another notch every single time and that becomes addicting. So if you're going to read a book for a week or a month or two months or whatever, and it elevates your life, you're going to get addicted fast. So take baby steps, start with five minutes a day, 10 minutes a day until you get that addiction. And then eventually routine turns the habit. So anyway, rich dad, poor dad is all about what to do with your money. Don't put it in a savings account and let it rot away to inflation. This is really good. It teaches you what to do with your money once you make it. I picked this up for $4.98 used on eBay with free shipping. How to win friends and influence people is probably one of the best non-sales book about sales. This is literally hands down. Uh, this doesn't just apply to business. This also applies to personal life. Uh, this is a fantastic book on how to kind of manipulate people into doing what you want, but in the most friendly way possible. This is a phenomenal book. I was skeptical going into it, you know, whatever was great. Uh, I picked this up for $6.39 used on eBay. It's all warped because I like to read in the bathtub. The seven habits of highly effective people are, this is a phenomenal book. It's a bit longer, but this is going to teach you how to rewire your brain and your routines to really get the most out of your day and what you're doing. A phenomenal read. I picked this one up for $3.90 used on eBay. Now this is the psychology of money. It sounds familiar because I have a video titled the psychology of money, but this is probably one of the best reads I've ever had and finance. This just tells you why you do what you do with your money, the psychology behind it, why rich people go broke, why when you get a raise, you're still never better off. And this is one of the most eye-opening books. I think this needs to be, does it say it's a bestseller? They all say bestsellers. Yeah, international bestseller. This book is phenomenal. One of my favorite books that I've never heard of. I just saw it on Amazon. This one's a little bit more expensive. It's $17. You pretty much have to buy it new on Amazon, but this might be my favorite book. I, I absolutely love it. But I highly recommend you get all of them. And then finally, click Millionaires, which I bought for $4.18 used on eBay. And this is basically for beginners. This is for people who don't know what they want to do. This lays out every way to make money online on the planet. It describes what it's like, how much you can make. And by finishing this book, you're going to have a really good idea of every single online business and what you want to pursue. This is more towards beginners and not super in depth on every single topic. Obviously, otherwise it'd be a mile wide, but a really, really good book. If you want to learn how to work less, live more with an internet business you love, this is going to tell you all of your options. So this came out to a total of $36.45 for a lifetime of financial knowledge. If you read all of these books, you would be an unstoppable money-making and managing machine. And you should easily be able to cover the cost of this with your Weeble sign-up bonus or with the things you sold and liquidated in step number one. Also, buy a course, but don't buy those $500, $1,000, $2,000 courses. If you want to do YouTube, buy a YouTube course. I have a YouTube course. It's $67, the cheapest one on the planet. Point being is buy a course, but don't spend too much money. Be weary. Uh, books is where it's at, and there's a lot of really good free stuff on YouTube. Now, moving on to step number five, and that is to start your side hustle, which this book right here will really help you get on your way in picking which side hustle to start. And I have a second channel called The Grace and Roberts Show, and it's just specifically about how to make money really in-depth video. So go check that out. And I've got lots of videos talking about the best way to make money online as a teenager, offline as a teenager, how to make passive income, how to make passive income as a teenager, all sorts of different stuff. But point being is find something that you enjoy doing for a little bit extra money per month. And it doesn't matter how little. Let's say that you're passionate about guitars, which I am. I have a collection and I buy and sell guitars and I only make $100 off of maybe one deal a month. Well, that $100 per month turns into an extra $1,200 per year. Or 95,444 in 30 short years compounded annually at a 6% return. Small numbers add up. Start a side hustle. Doesn't matter if it's 50, 100, 200 bucks a month. 
it adds up when you invest it correctly. Now, since I've got entire videos on my other money-making channel about this topic, I'll just briefly mention to you my favorite side hustles. My first favorite one is YouTube. It takes a couple hours a week. The videos live on forever, therefore making you passive income. You can make money through AdSense, brand deals, affiliate marketing, and merchandise. It's one of my favorite ways to make money online. That's why I have six YouTube channels. And if you're not a fan of being on camera, well, first of all, I've got videos on how to do faceless YouTube channels, but there's also blogging if you're more of a writer. I've got videos on software that that will literally write blogs for you. So you could work maybe an hour a month and pump out ton of blog posts and you also make money via AdSense since it's also owned by Google, the marketing, brand deals, and merchandise. Blogging is a fantastic side hustle. I have two of them. Also couch flipping, buying and selling sectional couches that are in demand is a really good way to make money. I just sold a couch for over $200 profit yesterday. And then there's the classic mowing lawns or a mobile car detailing business and also freelancing on Upwork. Do you know how to edit videos? Do you know how to edit photos? Do you know how to write scripts? Do you have a good voice? Can you do voiceovers? Do you do unboxing videos, etc.? I've got a whole video on the other channel about how to make money as a freelancer. Now, step number six on getting yourself out of a financial rut is saving to invest. Don't save just to save, okay? Save to invest. Think about how much extra money you're gonna have at the end of every month after slashing the fat on your budget, so you're gonna be saving money. After getting rid of your debt, so you're not gonna have that monthly obligation anymore, and boosting your income through a side hustle, you're gonna be hundreds of dollars ahead every month, but don't spend it. What's the point of making more money every month if you're just gonna blow it? You need to be able to use it to make more money and exponentially growth your success. Don't save it and put it away. Save it to invest. And if you have to put it into a savings account in the meantime, while you're reading books and getting educated in step, what, three, and learning what to do with that money, that's fine. But don't let it sit there forever. I don't care what anybody tells you. Keeping your money in a savings account over years and years and years is one of the stupidest things you can do with your money. Inflation is way higher than the 0.06 average return on a savings account. So let me put a scenario in your head. Imagine that you slashed the fat on your budget at $60 a month. You got rid of another $100 per month of high interest debt repayments and generated another $400 per month through a side hustle, which is very easy to do. Altogether, that's an extra $560 per month. Small numbers add up. Or an extra $6,720 per month year. That is a major raise off of little efforts on every category that add up or $534,487 compounded annually for 30 years at 6% interest. Small numbers add up. Now, don't go blow your money on a bad investment. Otherwise, that uh, th th that just defeats the entire purpose. So refer to step four, getting educated. That is a very important step before you go blow and invest a bunch of money in something uh, like crypto. And different investments could be maybe mutual funds, stocks, real estate, starting a side hustle, a business, uh, investing in a studio so you can start a media company, whatever it might be. Use your money to make more money but minimize your risk by doing the most amount of research, books, podcasts, and YouTube videos on that particular side hustle or business or whatever it might be before you go invest much money into it because you want to hit the ground with your feet running instead of being thrown in the deep end and sinking or swimming. You want to have the boat already built. So in conclusion, between slashing the fat killing the bad debt and increasing your money just a little bit by every month through a side hustle, you are going to change your entire financial life for the better. And with smart investments compounded annually, you're going to have that money grow exponentially like you've never thought was possible before. So that's why I said these little low effort things that you can do to your budget can be completely financially life-changing. Now, there's more to the story. There's the whole psychology of money. Once you have this extra money and you know how to invest it and you start making the big bucks, which you will, that's when the psychology of money is gonna come into play. So go check out my 45 minute piece on this channel. And I know it can feel hopeless now, but I'll bet after watching this video, you've got a whole new wave of hope and motivation and desire to increase your money and pull yourself out of this financial rut that a lot of you are in. You think you're in a bad situation? Trust me, I bet mine was worse. And I bet if you look over to your neighbor, they're in the same situation as you are. As I grow up and a lot of adults and people in my family started coming to me for financial advice since I'm a financial guy, I've came to realize that more people are in financial ruts 
than I've realized. And this is the formula to pull yourself out fast and be on your way to building wealth and financial freedom. The best part is this doesn't require any crazy brainiac skills. This doesn't require an upfront investment. This doesn't require really any hard work. It's simply clicking your mouse, moving the budget around and following these steps. There you have it, folks, how to pull yourself out of a financial rut. Do not forget to get that awesome sign up bonus from Weeble. That is a fantastic first step that could help bankroll a course or buying books, which I would recommend much over a course because a $3 book can change your life much more than a $3,000 course, or at least just as much. So there you have it, folks. If you gained any value or information out of today's video, hold your end of the deal up, hit that like and subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it, and I genuinely hoped you got something out of this video. If you have any more advice for viewers, please put it in the comments below, and also put it in the comments below your story. I'm truly looking forward to hearing all of your success stories down the road, so leave a comment, stay in touch. Till next time. <laughs>